Hello Whovians and welcome to WhoTube Galifu A02 and in this video I will be discussing when exactly the Stephen Moffat Doctor Who stories take place. So yes, these are only the modern Doctor Who stories which Stephen Moffat has written or are in his era of Doctor Who and yes I won't be including the past Doctor Who stories or the future Doctor Who stories, this is just the main modern Doctor Who stories and when exactly they take place. So it's around June 2008 when the events of the 11th hour take place, when the Atraxi comes to Earth to hunt down Prisoner Zero. It's two years later when the Doctor returns on the 25th of November 2010 and this is at the end of the 11th hour. Vincent and the Doctor and the Lodger take place at some time between January 2010 and December 2010. The dates aren't Pacific but those two stories take place then. In April 2011, the Doctor is assassinated at Lake Silencio. Six months later, in October 2011, the Doctor returns to greet the Prons after he's been looking for River Song in Let's Kill Hitler. In November 2011, the Doctor drops the Pons back home in the God Complex, and yes, we briefly see them in Closing Time as well, which takes place in a similar time. In December 2013, the Doctor returns two years after the events of the Gone Complex in the Doctor, the Widow and the Wardrobe, where he greets the Pons on Christmas Day. Then it's another two years until the Doctor sees the Pons again, and this is in Asylum of the Daleks in November 2015. In September 2016, ten months after, Dinosaurs in the Spaceship takes place. Then, around two years after that, in September 2018, the events of the power of three start to take place and the events of the power of three take place over a course of a year and end in around September 2019. So why is the power of three ten years after the 11th hour? It's because it is mentioned that it's been ten years of the Doctor on and off. So yes this fits in nicely with the timeline. When the Angels Take Manhattan the modern day clips take place in 2012 and then we start fresh. In March 2013, the Bells of St. John events take place, as well as the other clips from Series 7 Part 2, which take place in the modern day. On the 23rd of November 2013, the events of the Day of the Doctor take place, and in around January 2014, the events of Into the Dalek take place. In March 2014, the events of Listen take place, and in September 2014, the Caretaker, Flatline, and In the Forest of the Night take place. Now remember, all these times aren't confirmed, it's just a theory which I've come up with just to piece all the bits together, as it is a very complicated timeline. In October 2014, the events of Dark Water and Death in Heaven take place, and in December 2014, the events of Last Christmas take place. In September 2015, the events of The Magician's Apprentice take place, and in November 2015, two years after the Day of the Doctor, the Zygon invasion happens. And as Zygon says in this story, we've had a year to prepare, but it wouldn't make sense if it was a year after, as it doesn't link in with the timeline. So yes, I'm presuming the Zygon said it in Zygon years rather than human years. That would make a lot more sense as it doesn't all add together if you have it in November 2014. Then in November 2015, the tragic events of Face the Raven take place. In September 2016, the pilot takes place up until around January 2017 as the pilot is over a big course of time. Knock Knock is around in February 2017, while Extremis in the Pyramid at the End of the World is in around March 2017. Then there's six months of monks taking over the world, and The Lie of the Land takes place in September 2017. The flashbacks we see in World Enough in Time are most likely in around October or November of 2017. Class, on the other hand, takes place in between September 2016 and probably December 2016. So yes, that is the Moffat era in a summary. That's where all the Doctor Who stories take place in a narrative timeline. So yeah, 
This isn't confirmed, but it all adds together when you think about it. So yes, until the next time, goodbye.